dice oh Y ella, ya, ya Siempre un perdón, no te mentí Ya no hay nada que me asombre Malo porque siempre confío en ti Good morning guys! We are currently at 6am and I'm just heading to the gym to do my fasted cardio. We've got 30 minutes of steady state, 10 minutes of intervals. Um, I, actually, I think one of my friends is joining me, potentially, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so that'd be nice. And that is the plan. And then when I get back, I will show you my first seal. So hope you guys enjoy the city. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not ready to see it. And definitely enjoy it. And I look forward to bringing you guys along with me. busy morning. Um, I did my faster cardio and then I had two client calls and I've just been doing some other things, a bit of admin and then eating. <laughs> and I actually had to have a nap because I wasn't really feeling very well. Um, but I've got a bush session to do. So I'm going to have my pre-workout meal, go and do that. Um, so we have the best pre-workout meal. So we have 20 grams of chocolate, 70 grams of cream of rice, I never remember what it is. Um, 70 grams of berries and 25 grams of wheat. Mm. Really stuck to the spoon. Mm. I'm gonna watch a bit of YouTube. And then head to the gym. I still have a lot of steps to get in today because I did Take the bus there and back this morning because I had to get back for clients and like to get work done. Um, so still probably got about probably only done like 2,500 steps. So I think I'll probably walk to the gym, walk back, and then I've got some cardio after my workout to do. And I haven't done any handstands either, so I've got a lot of training to get done. Guys, I just had a melted bit of dark chocolate. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I don't know why that's making me so happy, but I think it's because I really am not very well, and so it's like the little things. <laughs> I'm gonna get through this session. We got this, we got this. This is like one of the prep challenges, and I think normally, like, I've been very lucky, it's been very, like, smooth, plain sailing for me, but to be not very well and be like three weeks out from competition is not ideal because I do really need to get all my training in. Good morning guys! So it's been a really rough night, a really, well actually last night I did sleep very very well. It was a really rough day yesterday, um, unfortunately. So I had client calls in the morning and then I literally, I didn't know what happened in the afternoon, I started to feel like deaf, I had like this burning fever, um, ugh, I couldn't really breathe very well, I had this cough, had a headache, it was all terrible, so literally I went to bed and I was just in bed pretty much all night, um, at like 8am. I did wake up at 5 as always, but I didn't actually get up because I thought I still need to be in bed, like still got a bit of a banging headache. Definitely felt better than yesterday um, when I went to bed. Honestly guys, last night though, I just felt really, really terrible, so I was a little bit worried. Anyway, the sunning I have, I just uh, managed to get my check-in pictures. Um, and sent them across my coach. So we'll see what they say. My weight is down um, from last week and I'm definitely feeling leaner, which is good. I didn't even feel like eating my meals last night. Like, that's... I really felt terrible. Anyway, hopefully today I'm going to be on the mend. I did take a COVID test and it was negative. So 
fingers crossed I didn't have COVID. So what I do is at the moment I have these bottles and um, I have just filled it with water because they're one and a half litres and I have to get five litres a day in. So I make sure I drink at least three of these um, and then a little bit more. And I start off, so I've got this. You're gonna see how green this is in a second. Um, basically, I'm gonna have green powder, but I've had them before and they make me feel really, really violently sick. Um, so this is spirulina, leucema, and chlorella. Um, it's like a kind of, yeah, detox. It's got, yeah, it's good. It's really good, it's really nice. Um, and it tastes like minty, so it's fine. Then I take a vitamin D supplement, um, I take apple cider vinegar, I've actually got these in pill forms, um, I did used to have just one, you know, the liquid form, but not at the moment. And then I also take boron, um, cod liver oil, and turmeric, so, oh, and vitamin C, normally, if I can find my vitamin C. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yep. And then I also put in my morning drink. Glutamine. Sorry, really close there. Um, creatine, monohydrate. And then I have essential amino acids. And I know that's a lot, guys, but that's what I have every morning. And I would say it makes them amazing, but obviously I'm very ill at the moment, so... <laughs> As you can tell. <coughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna make that up, and I've got to drink at least a litre first thing in the morning, so I have that in various forms with all these different supplements. I forgot to mention this EAA it is a new EAA, EAA. I've only had it for two days, and it's already got glutamine in it, so I'm not gonna actually have the added glutamine powder. Um, because it's already got that in it and yeah it's also got um, citrulline malate and magnesium in it which is quite good. Promesas son nada más que solo palabras Y si no las cumples, se van a desvanecer Algún día volverás, tú al lado mío Y yo de testigo, vamos un, dos, tres Sin estrés, muéstrame esos pasos, te cuento hasta diez y bien Yo sé que tú quieres Honestly guys, this is such a strange morning because normally I'd be in the gym at this time doing my fast cardio. Um, but I'm going to have a bath, see if I can like, I don't know, just feel a bit better. And then we will see if the coach has, my, the coach, my coach has replied um, to my check-in. And I think I'll probably head out for a walk. Um, and yeah, I, I do need to get my cardio in and obviously see my training in. Um, but I'll see what they say because they might say because I'm not very well, like resty. So that is the plan. We're at 10 30 and I heard that from my coach and I, I literally have just been in bed all morning, which is so unlike me. Um so I've got a rest day, but we are falling behind. Um because we've only got three weeks to go. Uh, but obviously there's nothing we can do about it at the moment, so, oh god, I just want to be better, I don't want to be ill anymore. So frustrating. Anyway, it is what it is, I'm going to go and have something to eat because I'm getting a bit hungry actually. And, yeah. I haven't even been on a walk or anything. I do need to go and get a couple of things from the supermarket because I'm falling low on food um other than that it's gonna be very chilled down probably for me first time i've been out of the house today i need to get out and it was like 1 p.m and literally i've been in bed all morning so it's so warm outside it's such a beautiful day it's like 29 degrees um and i need to get some things from the shop so i'll show you what i got i'm feeling a little bit more with it now like a little bit <laughs> 
because I was like honestly not good earlier. Um, I did also cook up some vegetables because then it's so much easier than having to cook like 100 grams at a time. But I got spinach and a bit of a hot mess because it was really hot. Um, two packs of king prawns, one pack of salmon, it's like three for ten. And I love this sweet salmon. Um, and then I got lemons, because I haven't actually had lemons in my morning drink for ages, and I'm going to be having them each morning. Also got mixed berries, and chicken. I'm actually going to cook the chicken now, because I pretty much finished my chicken. Um, so then we'll be pretty much meal prepped for everything, which is nice, just because then all I have to do is measure and eat. And that's simple. Um, but I've got to get into steps today. I'm not doing a session because I'm on a rest day because I'm not well. Um, so I'm literally just gonna probably go for a walk later on, probably this evening maybe, and chill basically because I can't really do a lot else. Um, I'm in like a weird brain fog. I just feel a bit out of it to be totally honest with you. But we power through and I'm definitely feeling a bit better than earlier. Um, so that's good. I got this the other day, um, and I'm just trying it for the first time and putting it in some of my water because I have been dry. <laughs> I have been buying these flavored water things, which I know is not the best, but on prep, um, they can be a bit of a lifesaver. Mmm, oh, actually tastes quite nice. So it's a lot cheaper option buying this. I'm just putting a couple of the drops into water, and I'd recommend it. It's quite good. Anyway. We're going to cook up this chicken and all I do is, I'll show you guys actually, I just chop it up and I just put a seasoning on it and then pretty much cook it in like one cal spray and that's cooked up for a couple of days um, and then I just use it as and when I need it so it's super simple, super easy. product and I just put it in a Tupperware and then take it out and weigh it as I need um, to use it for my meals. I'm going to end this short video here um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I feel better for the next video. Um, I do feel like obviously weight is coming down and I am getting leaner for sure so that is positive but really I don't feel like, well, I know I'm not on track to where I need to be, um, and especially with my routine and things, I've still got elements I haven't worked on, um, I haven't been able to do handstands for like almost a week, even though I've done a couple of strength sessions, it's far from ideal, so yeah, it's all going to be a bit of a last minute rush, and I really do hope, um, obviously, I start to improve soon but we can only do what we can do and it is one of the challenges of life um touch wood i'm not ill very often so once i once i get this over and done with then i will feel a lot better um but i'll just you know i'm i'm being open and transparent with you guys it's the realities of prep the realities of life um we do unfortunately get ill and we just gotta handle it deal with it and get through it um and i think it's just one of those opportunities to learn and grow um if you can get through like a really tough time then anything after that i guess seems a lot easier and you don't take things for granted so much so there we go but I hope you've enjoyed that video and I will see you for the next one. Bye guys.